Welcome to the Stimulus Update series from Daniel's Brew. It's early morning on Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. My goal for each update in this series is to provide you a quick and easily digestible segment of the news on the next stimulus check and government stimulus efforts. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any important news that are released within this series. So I was out of town this weekend, but as I've been keeping up with the news, not too much progress has been made on the stimulus negotiations front, which unfortunately is pretty discouraging. Here's a quick recap of the last few days activities. Before the weekend, Republican Senator Ron Johnson went on the Senate floor and tried to get unanimous consent of an extension plan of the unemployment boost at $200 a week, and it was shot down by the Democratic side immediately. Then Democratic Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer tried to get unanimous consent for the $3 trillion HEROES Act on the floor of the Senate, and that immediately was shot down by the Republican side as well. Then Republican Senator Martha McSally from Arizona in a last ditch effort came onto the Senate floor and asked for a seven day extension of the current $600 unemployment boost so that the American people can get one more $600 federal check while Congress takes the next week to debate this issue for the long term. That again was shot down by the Democratic side. If you want more details on any of this, check my last update here. So as a result, talks reached an impasse on Friday with both the Republican and the Democratic side breaking for the weekend without any type of agreement on the current issues regarding the stimulus package. However, committed to continuing to work on this over the weekend, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer from the Democratic side, and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, who are representing the Republican side, sat down on Saturday morning to see if they could hammer out some of their differences. Following that three-hour meeting, Nancy Pelosi said, Today's meetings were more productive than our previous meetings, but no agreement can be reached yet. Work will continue on the staff level tomorrow. Leader Schumer and I will meet Secretary Mnuchin and Chief of Staff Meadows on Monday. One of the major sticking points in the discussion have been the next steps on the unemployment insurance, where the Republicans have been all over the map, proposing a $200 per week extension to a 70% wage replacement option, then a one week $600 extension, then a two third wage replacement option as well. The Democratic side has rejected all of these ideas and has held firm to the continuation of the current $600 unemployment insurance amount through the end of next January. But Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Steve Mnuchin, and Mark Meadows have continuously said that they would meet every day until negotiations are resolved and they reach an agreement. And that's what happened over the weekend. Okay, so that brings us to yesterday. On Monday, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Steve Mnuchin, and Mark Meadows again met in Nancy Pelosi's office late in the afternoon trying to hammer out the differences between the Republican Heels Act and the Democratic Heroes Act. The meeting convened and Chuck Schumer came out and said that the Republicans are holding onto their position on the enhanced unemployment insurance, which refers to the $200 per week flat rate, then the 70% wage replacement concept in the Heels Act. And when asked in general about the course of the meeting, he said they're sticking to their position. And then Nancy Pelosi added, and we're sticking to ours. So that already doesn't sound like they've made a lot of progress towards a joint proposal. But later that day, there was a Democratic caucus call where Nancy Pelosi gave an update to the rest of the House Democrats on their meeting. And here's what she said. Chuck and I are determined to get an agreement, determined to get it as soon as we can. My hope is that we could do this this week, but I don't know if that's possible. She also added that for unemployment insurance, they're still at $200 and we said $600 and that's the way it is. For education, we're not together on an amount. And for state and local funding, still a zero. So honestly, I don't know what to think about this anymore. This is the sixth meeting that Pelosi, Schumer, Mnuchin, and Meadows have had regarding the next stimulus bill, and they just seem to be having a lot of discussion, but not much real progress. I found this meme online, and it just seems to sum up perfectly what's going on with our Congress right now regarding this next stimulus package. It's incredibly frustrating, and my hope is that they get something done this week before the Senate has to leave for vacation. Otherwise, according to the Senate floor schedule, they don't reconvene again until September 8th, which is over a month from now. So that's it for today's quick and easy stimulus update from Daniel's Brew. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button for me so that we can get this video in front of more viewers like you. And if you'd like to share this video with your friends and family, all you have to do is hit that share button on the title bar just above the subscribe button. Speaking of which, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and that way you don't miss out on any new videos that I post here in the future. Also, if you'd like three free stocks, just go to the video description section below and you can get one free stock through my Robinhood link and two free stocks through my Weibo link. Details are below in the description section. Also, if you like what you see in my videos, like my light tree or my background hues, check out the gear that I have listed below in the description section as well. So thanks again for joining me today and we'll see you next time.